Hello, back again. At the end of my last video I suggested an option of perhaps using a computer power supply to make up a, a heater and I thought, well look, I've got a computer power supply, I've got a spare bit of uh, PVC 90mm tubing and I have got a PC fan so why don't I actually uh, put it together, show you what I was suggesting and um, hopefully it can uh, give someone a, an idea. I do, I have made a plan which I will make available to anyone that wants to give this a go. It just has a, a few calculations worked out on it, so you just select what sort of output you want. I think I've got from 8 to 10 watts, and 8 or 9 or 10, and what power supply that you're using. There's only two commonly available ones at the moment anyway, that's uh, the laptops. Most of the laptop ones output 19 volts, uh, but some output 12, so I'll put figures there for both and just a few little measurements to uh, to assist you so if, uh, have a look at the video if you think you'd like to give it a go there's a plan available all you have to do is uh, you can contact me via this site just uh, with a comment and I will email you out a plan free of charge so you can have a go let's get started okay here's the components list for the heater one power supply one piece of uh, 10 millimeter PVC which just PVC sheeting like an old uh, chopping board which I've already to save a bit of time I've already cut uh, three pieces off that I need some scrap aluminium you can or you can use steel from a can it doesn't matter I've just cut four little pieces like that some assorted screws and some small bolts that I had just lying around computer fan piece of 90 mil PVC downpipe that I've already cut back to 150 millimeters and the expensive part I went and purchased the uh, wire the the nichrome wire that cost me a bit under five dollars I also bought some fuse holders and a fuse and and a terminal block um, not necessary but that's the way I do things um, so let's start putting this together the first thing I'm going to do is to mount this onto the fan and that's why I chose the 90mm downpipe because it's an actual perfect fit I'm just going to drill a couple of holes in these in the metal bend them up at 90 degrees and pop rivet them onto there and that will make a, a bracket to fix this on there so I'll do that and uh, then I will come back to you Okay, the next stage I have just made up my little brackets and as you can see that bolts straight onto the fan and it fits absolutely perfectly. I'm not sure if I can show you down the, the centre there but um, yeah, absolutely perfectly. Okay, I've been talking about the most common power supplies being available uh, as for for laptops as being 19 volts fortunately enough for me the fan that I have is a 24 volt but if you're going to use a fan out of an old PC the chances are that it won't be it will be a 12 volt so they will spin pretty fast so what I would suggest is uh, if you're into J car or somewhere uh, to buy your resistive wire just get yourself a 220 ohm resistor and if you pop that in the line doesn't matter where it goes on the positive or the negative beside the fan that will just slow the speed down of the fan it'll stop it whirring so much it will use a bit less current it will draw less current and because uh, all we're really looking for is just a, a nice gentle zephyr to uh, to waft over the wires just to transfer the heat out of the tube and and into the medium so that's something to bear in mind you can discuss that with your uh, wonderful J car man or Dick Smith or wherever Tandy Radio Shack wherever you get uh, you're, you're buying your resistive wire you I would suggest if you haven't got a 24 volt fan and again these fans if you don't have one if you don't have an old PC lying around computer swap meets you can pick them up for I think I've our local computer swap meet you can pick a fan up for two dollars so this is not meant to be a, a, a greatly expensive project alright next stage 
I did mention earlier on from the components list that I'll be using just a bit of 10mm PVC. I have cut three strips off that and from my chart I calculated that I need 3.277 metres of wire because uh, of the low wattage that I want to put out and the high 19 volts that I'm using. So from the chart you can it will calculate for you uh, how many holes you need to drill based on the length uh, between each one so with mine I actually need to drill 17 holes so what I have done I have done that already and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I have just each strip is 12 millimeters wide so I've just come in 8 millimeters drawn a line and luckily enough they're exactly um, 5 millimeters apart so that's the next thing to drill the holes into your blocks once the holes are drilled we can come to our plan and I do have a scale drawing so that will fit straight over there like that and you can see where mark the position on this block where to uh, put these three strips. Now it's a bit hard to show you here so I've just made a little ring and I'll be using that again later on but what I'm going to do is we now have to thread our wire through so you can see that that goes there it stood up, oh, that was nice of it that goes there and that goes there And our wire is just wound round and round and round of there with with uh, one end going or both ends going outside um, which will terminate in a common point with the fan and then that goes back to our power supply and that's virtually it it's very very simple um, but I think the hardest thing thinking ahead is going to be making sure the wire is tight and doesn't droop and doesn't sag so what I'm going to do I've cut this extra ring out and I'm going to use that I'm going to screw these three blocks in the correct position to this small ring first because I think it would be way too hard to thread to thread it through the full size one so I'm going to screw it to that they'll be in the right position hopefully I can just thread the wire through and then transfer the threaded three blocks f f away from there and put straight into there. As you can see, it would be too hard to thread in there, but that should be okay. That's the theory. Let's um, get onto that stage and uh, and see. Don't forget, uh, this plan is available for anyone that uh, that wants it. Okay, I've screwed my three support wire supports to the off cut that I had and as you can see they're in the correct positions at the same time I was doing that I drilled, drilled the holes in the main tube so that they uh, they also line up and I'm about to cut my 3.2 meters of uh, wire now I do mention in the pattern that my plan is to tie off the bottom one and occasionally around the, the loop I will I think I'll just uh, make a loop and tie it off so because these are four millimeters either side and that is 10 millimeters for every loop I'm going to make I have to allow 24 millimeters now that may not seem, not seem like a lot but if you want to tie off a few of them then it can make a difference and it will affect the output and it will affect the rating so uh, that's the calculations that I'll be doing I'll work that out now and uh, as I'm doing it and um, I will show you when I have this finally threaded well here we go, some uh, oh, three quarters of an hour to an hour later I have my spiral wound it's fitted onto the fan what I've done is I've just put a bolt through the top and the bottom of the three wire supports and I can use that to adjust the, the tension but for the actual connections I've put two back the front, I've actually put the bolts head on the inside which leaves the nuts on the outside so what I will be doing is putting that fan around there connecting that fan positive or negative to there 
and that is where the voltage from the power supply will go as well. I might just put a little uh, strip on here like that because I do have a fuse which I want to put in line just in case like the first one that I did if something happens in here and we draw too much current I've got that 2 amp fuse so I'll will mount that on the outside I do want that as part of the part of the circuit just for a safety measure but that will take me probably 15 minutes so that means in the space of less than half a day we have a heater made basically out of junk materials that I had lying around. Of course, like everything that I do, we start off it is theoretical. So I will put it to the test when it's finished. Well, there it is. So the product's finished. Half a day's work. I haven't put the fuse in yet because um, I'm just measuring the current and the, as you can see from the uh, multimeter there the current is 0.43 amps if I move that just out of the way and I'll show you down side the wire is just barely warm to the touch so I'm about to now put it in close up the uh, the my fridge and just let it run and just see how hot it gets hopefully the lower wattage output the, the 8 watts which I've gone for um, will also help limit the, the temperature things get up to inside but still uh, we've got a couple of cold mornings coming up so it'll be good to see how that maintains. As a point of interest my calculated uh, current was 0.42 amps and as you saw on the multimeter was 0.43 so that's close enough for me. That is the wire only the extra one I could argue would be drawn by the fan so uh, virtually calculations are spot on so if anyone would like to avail themselves of, uh, of this it's only single uh, page plan just uh, by all means uh, let me know and um, it's yours for the asking well that's it half a day special a little junk box uh, heater very similar to the big bertha that i made but um, just using a separate power supply as I said from a, uh, a laptop computer like the other one being a standard 90 mil uh, pipe it will fit a, a right angle bend or you can extend it or do whatever you need to do if you need that situation but um, so far so good I will test it I don't have the data logger so I'll use the old-fashioned method of um, max min thermometer but I'm just going to put this in now and let it run and just to see how hot it gets inside and hopefully it won't uh, I'd like it to get up to the high 20s and, and that would be it that would be ideal uh, I've got a couple of cold mornings coming up so I'll be able to test that and make sure it holds the temperature okay and if that's the case I think I might use this one if not as I said I've got the, the original one that I made that I know does work thank you for watching I hope you've got something out of it I'll put this in now and get it running. But if you'd like a plan, it's nothing special, but um, just I've made a note of what I did this time. So uh, I'm happy to share it with anyone.